Hi, I'm Jason and I'll be your guide as we look at creating and sending mail merges. Mail merges are a unique and flexible tool that are great for sending mass communications to large groups of people. Let's take a look. To get started, click on the More link on the left and select Mail Merges. Mail merges are a saved template of an email, so if you've already created some mail merges, they will be listed here. You will only see the mail merges that you have created or ones that have been shared with you. If a mail merge has been shared with you, it will have an asterisk by it. If you have the mail merge privilege, you can see all the mail merges in the system by clicking the Other tab. Start by clicking the Create Mail Merge link on the right. First, give the mail merge a name to be saved as. You will see three steps at the top for creating the mail merge. In step one, you can compose the email. You can compose an email version and a print version if needed. Use the Add a Fields dropdown to personalize the message. Notice you even have a field to send a link to a person's financials. This is great if you want to send a mail merge instead of printing and mailing year-end giving statements. Also note the source button. This allows you to create HTML formatted emails. You can create the email in an HTML editor and copy and paste the HTML in here to have a great looking email. It is also very easy to copy and paste the content of the email into the print version as well. Step two allows you to choose your recipients. The list of recipients is dependent on the privileges you have in the system. So while many volunteers in your church will have access to the mail merges, they will not have the ability to email the entire church unless you grant them that access. With the recipient list, you can add multiple types of people to the email list. You can add a department and then decide to only email the parents of the people in that department. You can email people who have not replied to an RSVP, or you can email more than one group and so forth. The possibilities are endless. Step three is sending the mail merge. The email version also gives you an option to override the communication settings and send out an email to everyone on the list. The print version allows you to only print letters for those who don't have an email address, saving you printing and postage cost. It also lets you print mailing labels. The export option lets you download a CSV version of your recipient list to be used in another application like Microsoft Excel or even Microsoft Word. Click Send when you have made your choices. Two more features about mail merges. First, you can see a report of all the previous recipients of a mail merge by clicking the report icon and selecting the previous recipients list. The report will show you who it was sent to, when it was sent, and the method of delivery. Second, you can send a mail merge on behalf of someone. To do this, the person you want to send on behalf of needs to have the mail merge privilege and needs to log into the mail merge area. Then select Edit Who Can Send As Me. They will need to type in your name and click Save. Now, whenever you create a new mail merge, you will see the option on the Compose screen to select who the email will be sent from. So there you have it, mail merges. They are a saved template of an email that can be sent over and over again, and they give you control of who you send it to. For more information on mail merges, see our help articles.